Hey gang, Yubi here. Today I'm uh, introducing you to the base that I made for my mag drill to facilitate drilling of small parts with holes larger than half inch. I've got a drill press that can do half inch easy and larger, but it ta it's going to take me a lot longer to do it on my drill press than it will to do it here. Annular drill bits are like hole saws. They have a very sharp cutting edge and they're very robust. And because of the fact that there is less surface area than a full size drill bit, it'll cut a hole a lot quicker. So another convenient feature about the annular drill bit is the, the rolling lock system. You just push it in, turn it, and it just locks in place because it's only spins in one direction. So super convenient. So when you're done with the cut, as the bit is getting retracted, this pin pushes out the slug so you don't have to fish for a slug like you would in a hole saw. If you guys ever come across one of these little drill press vices, pick one up, especially this one. It's got this half nut that makes adjustment really quick and easy. And there, I love this little guy. I've got some threads wearing out in one location from it being used a lot. I bought this heavily used for 15 bucks and um, got a lot of use out of it. And I still get some use out of it. Just, I just don't use this as my primary anymore because of the, the threads that are worn out. Anyhow, this is a, most of you know what a mag drill is. It's got a huge electromagnet and it'll hold, hold this magnet in place when you turn the magnet on and when you turn it off, blah, blah, blah. So I've got this little vise here that will slide underneath this platform, which allows me to place small objects in here. There's, of course, many ways to skin a cat. I really would have preferred to have been able to forge this whole thing like this, but I, I wasn't able to pull it off. It, I was mangling it up, trying to get this out of this. And I've already done the texturing here. By the way, this is something my wife requested that I make. They're curtain rod hangers. She saw something like this online, so... I um, told her I would do it for her. I was gonna have little brackets here to screw into the wall. So I figured, yeah, I could do this on my drill press, but it'll just take me longer. And I really wanted to set something like this up just to have around, just so I have a lot more flexibility on uh, putting larger holes into the work when I need it. I'm going to clamp down my vise. This is clamped down with F-clamps over here. You don't want any flex in the system. It's got to be pretty stiff and rigid, which this is now. I've had to add some material. It was a little bit flimsy before. I added these plates here, which really stiffened it, it up. This will just get clamped down to the table. So I'm going to use this to properly align everything again. I've got my square adjusted for repeatability. I'm going to use this hole for the location of the drill. Now my mag drill is locked down. to do is slide one in
All right, gang, that's it. So I hope this video helps you to expand your capabilities a little bit. And don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. And have a nice day unless you have other plans. Peace.